Hello everyone, and welcome to the Simple Sumo Bot Step 3, checking the color sensors for the EV3 Classroom app. On the home page, click on New Project. You're going to rename this project Check Color and save. Click on the Open Brick Connection, and we're going to have a look at our color sensors. The left color sensor is attached to number four. The right color sensor is attached to number one. At this point, put the robot on the board so that the color sensors are over the white central part. White is a color that reflects a lot of light backwards. Therefore, the color sensors are reading high reflectivity. The reflective light intensity of the left sensor is 63, and the right sensor is 66. You should be seeing numbers above 60, 70, 80, even 90 for white. When you place the robot over a black line, black is a very bad reflector of light. Therefore, the right color sensor is reading a very low reflective light intensity of only about 11, 10%, and same as the right color sensor also reading a very low value, 9, 10, 11%. We can therefore use the color sensors to differentiate the board between what's inside, which is white, and what's outside, which is black. And we can use this to prevent our robot from falling off the table. So now we're going to write a program to make sure our color sensors work. Right now, the robot is on white, and therefore the color sensors 1 and 4 are reading very high reflected light intensities of 70-78%. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that my movement motors are set to B and C. Then I'm going to go to the control menu and repeat until I have a loop. And I'm going to repeat whatever's in this loop until my robot sees black. And so if I go to sensors and then go to reflected light intensity, and then we're going to put that in here. Right now, I want to check sensor that is plugged into number one. So make sure that's clicked into number one. Keep going until reflected light intensity is less than a certain number. What number do I pick? Well, when my robots are on white, Sensor 1 is reading 70%. When I put my robot on black, sensor 1 is reading 11%. So I need a number in between those two. When it comes down below that number, I've hit black. So I'm going to I'm going to take 11. I could write 11, but that's that's really close. So I'm going to go a bit higher. 20. So when the reflected light intensity is less than 20%, it means that my robot has hit black. So while this is happening, while my robot is on white and the reflected light intensity is pretty high, I want to move forward. And I'm going to go start moving straight. Once I hit black and this loop ends, I want to stop moving. And then I'm going to go to control and stop and end the program. Again, let's finish with a quick comment. This program makes the robot move forward until the color sensor one, which is the right side, sees black. Then the robot stops. All right, let's run the program. Now you can see that the robot has stopped, the reason being that the color sensor has read below 20%, and so color sensor 1 is working. Now let's check color sensor 4. Click to 4. Again, what number do I need in between? I need it to be between black and white. So white for color sensor number 4 is 79%. Black is 7-8%. Therefore, 20 is still a good number. When it comes less than 20, it means you've hit black. Keep everything else the same. 
put your robot on white and run. Again, the robot has stopped because color sensor 4 has gone below 20%. I've therefore shown that my robot is working properly, my color sensors are operating as they should, and I'm ready to move on to the next stage of the process. Thank you very much.